Today I want to show you how I make two colorful front-facing arrangements out of dried flowers. For the first one I want to use only violet and pink shades with a bit of white. The plants I'm using are a palm spear I bought and colored myself, a bunch of violet and pink grasses I bought like that, two African lilies I dried and colored and also two poppy pots. Some grasses I just found while walking our dog. It's really easy to dry and color those. And I also got some hydrangeas I picked up at my grandparents' garden, some pampas grass, I have another video on how to color them, and the bunny tail grass I just bought because you can find those around here. To keep the arrangement somewhat organized, I tie the bunches together at the bottom. That way you can easily arrange all the stems in different heights and it's also easier to rearrange the bouquet if you want to change something. At first I like to set the biggest pieces to create a base and think about the way I want to arrange the colors. To really tie the palm leaf into the arrangement and make sure it's not just sitting there in the back, you can put one bunch of the grasses around it. Because they are tied together and thanks to the structure of the leaf it will stay there perfectly. Then I start to arrange the different grasses by their colors. Always make sure to pull the strings far enough down so they are hidden by the vase. The dot of white works perfectly in front of the palm leaf. The dark purple makes the bunny tails pop out and I also place the African lilies in front of the palm leaf to add a surprising element you don't notice immediately. Then I add the light purple poppy pots for the other side. I found that a simple way to make a more professional looking arrangement is to create a background that is more diverse with different textures and heights and then add some more clean and simple pieces to focus on in the front. It's kind of like a painting where you first paint the background and in the end add something to focus on in the front. To create a nice transition and hide the stems I add the hydrangeas at the bottom. For the second arrangement I want to use a flower pot, but because it's very low I add some floral foam at the bottom for a better support. And I also like to divide the pot with clear tape into smaller segments so the plants don't all fall to the sides. Also depending on the color of the pot I tend to use different tapes.
this time the plants are more colorful, again I used a lot of grasses I picked and dyed myself and for this arrangement I chose some flowers I tried myself like peonies, ranunculus and cloves. The straw flowers and bunny tail grass I bought at the deco store as well as the orange grass. But the poppy pots and pampas grass I dried and dyed myself. Again I start with the background and plan a nice arrangement of the different heights. Here the colors will be a bit more chaotic, but I don't mix everything randomly. I like to keep some bunches of the same shades together. With the floral foam it's also no problem to rearrange a bit if something isn't fitting right. With this arrangement I created two higher points in the back with a dip in the middle. I think with the crazy colors there needs to be some dynamic in the way they are arranged. Then it's time for the parts in the front. I placed the green bunny tail grasses on the left so that there is kind of a connection to the other side. I had a lot of them but because the flower pot is really big I decided to use all of them. And so they don't look too chaotic I tied some of them together and used them as their background. Again I used some white bunny tail grass as a little highlight and a few pink ones because they fit the color scheme. I used the poppy pots as a bit of a hidden highlight in front of the orange grass and then comes the fun part and I get to add the flowers. In between I noticed I forgot some grasses I wanted to add in the back, but then it's back to the flowers again. I kept the flowers on one side together so the arrangement doesn't look overcrowded.
I'm very happy with how they turned out, but what do you think? Both of them will be used at my wedding and I'm going to make a lot more. Let me know if you would be interested in more of those videos and don't forget to like and subscribe.